Item number SCP-3719, Containment Class Safe, Security Level 1, Disruption Class VLAM. Special Containment Procedures SCP-3719 is stored in a standard Safe Class Containment Store in the Anonymous Objects Wing of Site-82. Foundation Web Crawler SE-851G, Asher Gladius is to track social media posts, news reports, and SMS messages transmitted in the state of Maryland for references to 3719 cardboard offense, references to unnatural flowering plant growth patterns, the formation of collective human amalgamations, and irregularities in the operation of yard equipment are to be flagged and isolated for further monitoring. SCP-3719 A1-61 through collectively designated SCP-3719 B are contained in suspended animation in a standardized 10,000 L Class 6 Love for Heroin Containment Vault. Note, Novel T and Horan M, 2014, Genix and You, or How I Became a Teenage Ice Pop. The Foundation Official Handbook and Special Containment Procedures, Revision 24, page 279-285. to 285. Persons associated with this anomaly, including nearby genetic relatives of SCP-3719-B, have been administered Class A amnestics. These persons are to undergo a false memory implantation procedure to subdue all memory of SCP-3719 B and the impact each affected person had on the middle sex suburb during their life. Description SCP-3719 is a GOON brand lawnmower with a cutting width of 35 centimeters. SCP-3719 performs in an identical manner to non-anomalous rotary mowers, except for a few notable differences. SCP-3719 relies on the energy exerted by its user, designated SCP-3719-A, to power its engine. To prevent fatigue and overexertion in SCP-3719-A, SCP-3719 generates added energy by reclaiming and consuming grass passing through its cutting deck. The generated energy does not mitigate the force required to push SCP-3719. Rather, energy transfers through the lawnmower handle into SCP-3719-A via esoteric means. A chamber within SCP-3719 stores excess grass for future consumption. During use, SCP-3719-A instances operate the lawnmower until the desired lawn is fully mown. Each instance then experiences a sense of personal responsibility from the completion of the task. This mind-affecting property does not hinder SCP-3719-A. Instead, SCP-3719-A instances experience positive emotional effect for long after SCP-3719 use. The emotional impact is shared by any person with a similar headspace. This includes close familial relatives within one to two generations to SCP-3719-A within the vicinity of its effects. This area of effect expands proportionally to the number of SCP-3719-A operating SCP-3719 at a time. Addendum Materials 1. Discovery SCP-3719 was discovered in the Middlesex suburb of Baltimore, Maryland on the 17th of August, 2014. On discovery, 61 residents constituting a collective body amalgamation with an estimated mass of 5,000 kilograms are piloting SCP-3719 along the road with evident ease. When the Foundation arrived, about 6 kilometers of roadways displayed anomalously manifested grass, whereas 
a two-kilometer stretch of road have already been mown. The formation of masses like SCP-3719-B and widespread infestation of grass on paved street is deemed a 3719 cobalt event. 2. Interview Law An interview was conducted with Grace Farley, a single parent living in Middlesex, the day before the discovery of SCP-3719-B, she had reported her son Kevin Farley is missing. A transcript is as follows. Video Log Interviewer Agent Francis Digby Interviewed Grace Farley Note, after Foundation President L arrived on scene, a 3 kilometer in diameter no-go zone surrounding the neighborhood was observed and cordoned off. While searching for persons directly affected by the 3719 Cub Bolt event, embedded field agents discovered Grace Farley, POI 3719-7, sitting alone on the curb. Agent Francis Digby approached Mrs. Farley under the guise of a concerned neighbor with the neighborhood watch. Shortly thereafter, she agreed to a recorded interview. Begin log. Like I said, and I'm uh, Francis Digby from just up the street, and uh, you don't mind if I ask you some things about the incident? Of course not, Francis. Anything you need, my dear. And please do call me Grace. So, Grace, uh, how do you first hear about the alarm mower? Old Billy kept that mower locked in his garage since before my boys were born. Billy's always been on the go, but after his accident, it's been hard for him to manage things. Bobby lifted the mower from him in the spring, had it refurbished, make sure it worked fine. Let me tell you, Francis, there was just something about that mower that made it special. In all my days, I never seen Rob so interested in anything except for that mower. And what way was he interested, Grace? The spark in his eyes when he worked on that thing, you wouldn't believe it. It had to be special. It wouldn't make sense otherwise. So, Bill owned the mower, and he lent it to Robert. Is there any indication that anyone else used the mower during that time? Robbie went about door to door, asking if anyone wanted a launch cut. That kid was willing, and it seems like once he started, he just couldn't stop himself. On the first day, he cut nine lawns alone. Can you believe that, Francis? Hmm. The next week, it was if everybody was asking Rob to cut their lawns, all the way down to Waterview. And boy, did he do it. Robbie's one of those meek types. When the little ones wanted to try the mower, he let them, so they could learn too. I would never allow my youngest to go near the thing, but those kids lurching along like it was a toy. And you said your eldest son was Kevin, correct? Yes, my dear. Grace, for what reason did Kevin start using that mower? I didn't let my boy try it. Just had to. Heaven knows I wouldn't even know how to use the thing myself. But my Kevin, he's a smart cookie he is. Could figure out anything he set his mind to. So, when he joined the others, I just knew they were going to enjoy themselves fine. It's better having them so close together, Francis, isn't it? I'm not so sure what you mean, Grace. Kevin, sir, he's a smart kid with a kind heart. That's the boy I raised. Yeah, I always wanted to keep him away from the bad crowd. Couldn't bear to lose my baby. So I tried hard, see, to teach him right. To get him along with the other smart boys I know out there too. Now, Francis, to see them want to join the other kids, that made me proud. All those kids together, closer than a hug, that what gives this community its spirit. We can all learn to become as warm as those kids were, and that was the key. How? How'd Kevin and the other kids come together? There were maybe seven others or so. The closest boys and girls in the neighborhood were all good parents. We all know how to raise a good kid. Raise a kid well enough 
and eventually they'll raise themselves? Grace, do you believe that the lawnmower is going to help them learn how to raise themselves properly? I don't just think so, Francis. I've seen it with my own eyes. Those kids could achieve incredible things if they just work together. All eight of them in the same body. That's what we raised them for. You're saying those kids were in the same body? But that's not possible, Grace. Makes sense to me, Francis. But wouldn't you like to see all our sons and daughters together, bonding deeper than they ever could naturally? Having so close together, boy, it just gives me the fuzziest feeling. Murder sex ain't what it was when I grew up. I never learned the same closeness my sons know. Mrs. Farley retrieves some tissue from her purse. Being able to help the other in such a way, what the smartest sons and daughters this neighborhood's ever seen? That's human. That's heart. I just crave to bask in the skin of the other. To be as warm as them. Wouldn't you like to be as warm as those kids, Francis? Wouldn't you like to share my skin too? Grace? Why can't you share one body, and so, and by God, if it's possible, one flesh? We're all human, Francis. We're one. We were born together, and together we shall remain. It's meant to be that way, because what other way could there be? Keep them together, and we won't be having any more tragedies, like the ones you see in the headlines every week. That was the best thing to happen in this neighborhood, period. You wouldn't understand unless you stretch your heart where all others can see and bask in the skin of your fellow man. End of.